Hi friends, as you have already seen the, in the previous videos, I have explained you about skin that is continuous supply of skin and superficial fascia, the superficial fascia which contains mammary gland and then now let us go to the deep fascia. So in the deep fascia, it is called as pectoral fascia. The deep fascia of this region is called as pectoral fascia. So as you see, the deep fascia superiorly, this is the clavicle. So superiorly, it extends up to the clavicle. This is superiorly. And inferiorly, it continues with the abdominal fascia. Abdominal fascia superiorly it extends up to the clavicle and inferiorly it continues with the abdominal fascia this is about pectoral fascia attachments and if you come to superior laterally there will be here it, there is attachment of deltoid muscle so it continues with the fascia of deltoid muscle that is superior laterally and if you come to inferior laterally here there will be the axilla so it continues with the axillary fascia all this is the attachments of deep fascia present in the pectoral region next if you come after completion of the fascia now you have to see the muscles of the pectoral region so the thing is the muscles of the pectoral region here there are Nearly four muscles which you will be dealing here. So the first muscle is pectoralis major. So this is pectoralis major. The origin of pectoralis major is from medial two third of anterior aspect of medial two third of clavicle. See anterior aspect of medial two third of clavicle. So you can see here clearly anterior aspect of medial two third of clavicle. And this is the lateral border of the sternum. And from two to sixth coastal cartilages. 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th and from the upper neurosis of external oblique muscle. All these are the origins. Origins are always marked with red or orange. And then insertion is to the lateral lip of bicipital groove. This is the insertion of pectoralis major. So now, after insertion, what you'll be going to learn is nerve supply. Nerve supply is, so as it is a pectoral muscle, so medial and lateral pectoral nerves. Read, medial and lateral pectoral nerves are the nerve supply. So now if you come to the action, what is the action of pectoralis major? See, pectoralis major is the most important muscle. So what happens is origin is here. You can see the origin is here. Okay. And the insertion is here. So when it moves like this. See. If this is the muscle. If it contracts. See. It is contracting. See. My hand is contracting. If it contracts like this. Then this humerus moves towards the body. I mean towards this midline. Midline of the body. So it helps in flexion. So what is the action? Main action is flexion of arm it even helps in adduction of arm see it moves like this so it is like this so it is adduction of arm adduction of arm and it medially rotates the arm because if it moves like this so, so with the help of even the back muscles so it moves like a friend so it is medial rotation of arm so what are the actions of pectoralis major? See, whenever the muscle is like this, it helps, it flexes like this. See, it contracts like this. So as a result, this arm moves towards the midline. So this is nothing but adduction. And then, whenever it flexes like this, even the arm can move front like this. So that is flexion. And then medial rotation is a rotating a little medially. So all these three actions are done by pectoralis major. So it is the first muscle of pectoral region. It is pectoralis major. And then the second muscle of pectoral region is pectoralis minor. What's its origin? The origin of pectoralis minor is from second, not second, it's from third, fourth and fifth ribs. Not second, okay? See third, fourth and fifth ribs 
is the origin of pectoralis minor. What is it? Third, fourth, and fifth ribs. And then what is its insertion? It is inserted to coracoid process of scapula. In on the scapula, there will be the coracoid process. It is inserted to coracoid process of scapula. So how will the muscle be oriented? You will be you can see it. This will be like this. This is pectoralis minor. You can see origin is from third, fourth, fifth ribs. That is origin. And then insertion is to the coracoid process, tip of coracoid process of scapula. And then if you see the action of pectoralis major and nerve supply first, nerve supply is same as medial and lateral pectoral nerves. And if you see the action, the action of pectoralis major, as you know, it does like this, so it is like this, so it contracts. This is the shoulder joint. See, glenohumeral joint is nothing but the shoulder joint. So, whenever it contracts like this, this shoulder joint moves down. See, whenever it contracts like this, then what happens? This shoulder joint should move down. Always the origin is fixed. Insertion moves. So, where has origin is fixed, it contracts. So, insertion moves. So, as a result, this whole joint is down. So, the main action is depression of shoulder. Depression of shoulder joint. It is also used in respiration because it depresses the shoulder joint and it is attached to the ribs here. This is helpful in respiration. So this is pectoralis minor. So you can see the action clearly. It is due to this whenever it it is like this. So whenever it contracts, it becomes the length of the muscle decreases. So as a result, the shoulder joint becomes down and has it comes to down. That is, it is depression of shoulder joint occurs with the help of pectoralis minor. Next, if you see the subclavius. Subclavius, it is a muscle which is attached to the, I mean first origin, let's see the origin of this muscle. So next one, the third muscle is subclavius. Origin of the muscle is to the first rib. See this is the first rib, this is sternum, manubrium sternum, this is clavicle. So it is originated to the first rib. Origin is first rib. And what is the insertion? Insertion is to the inferior surface of the clavicle, there is a groove called a subclavian groove. So this subclavius muscle is inserted into that groove. So origin is from the first rib, from the first rib it goes upwards and then it is inserted into the subclavian groove present in the clavicle. So what is its action? So see, it's the origin. It is the insertion. So whenever the muscle is like this, it contracts. So whenever it contracts, what does it do is, it brings the clavicle downwards. So the main thing of, well, the main use of subclavius is stabilization of clavicle. So its main action is on the clavicle. So it helps in stabilizing clavicle or stabilize, stabilization of clavicle. It is subclavius. And nerve supply is nothing but the upper trunk of brachial plexus. Upper trunk of brachial plexus is the nerve supply. Okay, this is subclavius. So you can understand the action clearly. It is attached to the, it is inserted onto the subclavian groove of clavicle. So as a result, whenever it contracts, it contracts and as a result, it brings down this clavicle downwards. So this is the action of subclavius. So the fourth and last muscle which you are going to learn is serratus anterior. See, serratus anterior is the most important muscle present in the pectoral region. The thing is, it's not completely related to the pectoral region, but it is studied here for convenience. So, what are the origins? The origin of pectoralis, of, of the origin of serratus anterior is first eight ribs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Origin is the first eight ribs, upper eight ribs, to say clearly upper eight ribs. And insertion is to the medial border and inferior angle of coastal surface of scapula. Medial border and inferior angle of coastal surface of scapula. Okay, so this, to, see, to say clearly, the first digitation is attached to the superior angle of scapula. The second and third digitations are attached to the medial border of scapula. See, all the first next two digitations. 
are attached to the most of the medial border of scapula and the lower five digitations are mostly attached to the inferior angle of scapula see they'll be going to the inferior angle of scapula got it the first digitation is attached to the superior angle of scapula second and third digitations are attached to the whole of the medial border of scapula fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth digitations are attached to the inferior angle of scapula all this is to the medial border of coastal surface of scapula so what are the actions of serratus anterior or uh, what is what does serratus anterior do it is to see it is attached to the scapula so whenever it is like this so whenever it contracts it is contracting so as a result it helps in protraction of uh, scapula that is it moves the scapula forward whenever there is pushing and punching movements whenever you have to push a person then this serratus anterior helps in this pushing and punching action so the name given to serratus anterior is boxer's muscle because it helps in pushing and punching of the scapula i mean punching movements uh, these punching movements these pushing and punching movements as you know these are mostly useful for the boxers so it is called as boxer's muscle and this nerve supply is long thoracic nerve okay this is serratus anterior so the main clinical aspect that you will be learning here is clinical aspect let me use l orange so clinical aspect that is winging of scapula what happens is in winging of scapula this uh, sorry winging of scapula this long thoracic nerve is paralyzed i mean this long thoracic nerve is injured if the nerve is injured this muscle is paralyzed so paralysis of serratus anterior it results in winging of scapula when winging of scapula inferior angle is more prominent and he, that person cannot do this punching and pushing movements so this is serratus anterior which is the most important muscle and then if you come these are the muscles so now you have learned about the four muscles that are present in pectoral region one is pectoralis major this is the pectoralis major pectoralis minor and then subclavius muscle and then serratus anterior muscle so serratus anterior is how it is attached if you see uh it's originated in the rib this is rib and this is scapula it is inserted into the scapula and what happens is it will be a little like this see so this is serratus anterior so whenever when it contracts you can see the protraction of scapula occurs so it is mainly used in pushing and punching movements so this is the end of today's lecture which is on muscles of pectoral region okay then bye